Morning guys. Another beautiful day today. Man, it's kind of nice. It's rained yesterday, but it's a little bit overcast today. Just a nice cool morning this morning. So one thing that I'm thankful for today is my wife. Um, I know I don't probably talk about her enough, but Mrs. Smart Easy DIY, uh, she is uh, amazing. And uh, she takes good care of us. We have five children and she takes good care of all of us, does so much for us. So I just want to recognize her today and uh, yeah, so let me guys know in the comments down below the video what you guys are thankful for. So yesterday I showed a little bit um, that we got this set right here. This meter base got it set and then, so now I got the wire strung out. So there's multiple ways to do this. I've done it before where I put a rope in the conduit and then pull it later. But I'm kind of thinking this wire is so heavy that I think I'm going to try to put it in for the most part in conduit as I go up on the bank and then try to roll it in and then just finish the ends. So the only thing down there is there's a big puddle of water because it's been raining a lot. Yeah, that's kind of the update for that. I'm going to work on that this morning, but I'm working on stuff in the house. So I'm going to take you in there and show you around. Hey, I caught up with Wyatt here. He's got a board with lots of nails in it. Looks like you're going to take some nails out, huh? We're trying to save all the 2x4s we can from this. Wyatt's got some projects in mind, I'm sure. One of them is probably a tree house. But I think you already said that. I might have said that in a previous video. Well, they didn't come get the dumpster yesterday, so hopefully they'll come this morning. But since they didn't come get it, I thought of a last minute thing that I forgot to do the other day. It was so hot in the bathroom here, there was still some of that floor left here. So I got the rest of that pulled out and got that all cleaned up and swept up. So that's nice. Now it's all ready to go for when we want to tear the rest of this out. But really, it's nice to get that out of here. Okay, so I caught up with Wyatt today to see what he's thankful for. Wyatt, you got something today? Yeah, that I'm being able to get some of these boards and the nails pulled out. Oh yeah, that's awesome. The new part, we saved a lot of these boards. There's a lot of nails here that Wyatt is pulling out. Good job, Wyatt. So under our patio here, we've had a lot of problems with flies this summer. They've been really bad. So I don't know if you can see, there's this sticky thing right here that I hung up temporarily because this patio roof is gonna come down. So I just hung it up temporarily with some blocks, but I'll show it to you. So it has two spools on it and it winds up, when it gets full like it is, can you see how full that is? There's just a ton of flies on there. First time you buy the whole, the two spools and the next time you just buy a refill and then you can reuse these things. So that's kind of cool. I'll show it to you a little bit there, but you just pop it down and then wind it up. It takes a little while, but it's got enough on there for quite a few, uh, I don't know if it's 80 feet or so. So it depends on how big of an area you're doing, but if you got a outdoor area, and of course this is kind of unsightly with the clamps, like I said, but I'm gonna, this is just a temporary setup. So <laughs> I'm gonna take those down eventually. But this really has made a difference here for eating out here on the patio and stuff like that. This is our kind of temporary setup for the summer, but that's worked really good. And if you guys are interested, I'll try to link it down in the video description below the video. So that way you can check it out if you want. But overall, I've been really impressed with these, really happy with them. I don't remember the brand, but I will link the correct ones down underneath the video. All right, dumpster truck showed up. So it's going to pick the dumpster up and get it out of here today. So this is kind of a midday update. And I'll show you what we got around here. So we're working on getting the electric line in. So, you know how I said what I was going to do is try to do it kind of in place because this wire is so heavy. I was going to try to do the conduit where I, I roll the wire out and then slip the conduit down through there. So that's what I did. I ran one piece down at a time. At least it got 10 feet shorter every time. But instead of trying to pull it through later, even though I did two and a half inch conduit, so it's got plenty of size for that. But it's just so heavy and it's, I just figured it's going to be a lot easier to do it this way. We got this part in. We got our slip riser in here. And so that's going down in there. We've got our long sweep there. So in here we got our regular nut and we got our bushing. We got schedule 80 pipe. Anywhere where it comes up out of the ground, they require schedule 80 instead of schedule 40. So I gave myself plenty of wire here to cut off. You always want to err on the side of too much with this kind of stuff. So then what I did, so that way I could still slide the pipe a little bit. I only went about six sections and then I put a stake down here because this stuff has enough flex 
that it can still go in the ditch right here to get that in position properly but then it'll gradually go up here and this stuff's strong enough that it can span that so then my plan is I put this stake here so it can't roll into the ditch and then I did a few others down through here so I'm gonna get this more into place as I go here take one stake out at a time and then glue these together and it's easy to do one section at a time like that and then this will be the tricky end down here once I get down here because I have to get the sweep correct down on this end because then it gets mounted to the pole here right here so I got to get that and and this was a lot of water in here because it's all clay and stuff and it's been raining the last couple days so the boys came out here it was a good way for them to make a little bit of money and they dug all this water out of here bailed it out for me and dumped it all on the downhill side so that really helped out I don't have a submersible pump so they got a chance to make a little money and have fun doing it and they found some big frogs down in there too even though it's only been a couple days of rain so that's kind of the update midday update on that so we're gonna keep working on it well guys to cap the end of the day it's a beautiful evening the sun's shining I had showed this earlier a little bit but just got it kind of tidied up still got to run those wires in the top there and then we're still digging to get this run over there. They finally got the dumpster out of here now, so I can finish digging that. But all the way down through here. Anyway, so this is how the ditch turned out here. Got the conduit in here nicely. Now they said I only have to dig 24 inches, but I went pretty much 30, 32, just to give myself plenty. This is where the boys cleaned out the water for me. And then I tried to block that up a little bit when I was putting the sweep in. So this is how they do it here. They give you a bracket at the bottom of the new pole that they put in. It keeps it off about four inches or so. And then for now, I just sacrificed one of my cheap ratchet straps to kind of hold that up in place because I don't want it to go anywhere. So what you do is you run schedule 80 coming out of the ground. The sweep is schedule 80 and then one section of schedule 80. Any place that you could hit it with a mower or anything like that, they want it schedule 80. And then it's schedule 40 from then up. So then it goes up the pole and they're gonna hook it up. So I just left all the extra here and made sure to get them plenty and then give them a couple pieces of pipe there. I got a weather head for them too. So excited for them to come hook this up. So that's kind of the update on that. And then tomorrow I'm going to get to digging in the rest of it on the upper side there and get it run into the barn. So, so one thing I've been trying to do as well as much as I can is to get the rest of my footage edited for the garage build series because I was still way behind on that trying to get all that edited and I'm putting the video together right now for the garage door install as you can see there. What I'm doing in my setup here in the shed just kind of in my spare time whenever I get a chance so I'm trying to get that done so I can move on to other things and I want to try to keep going with these daily videos here. By the time you see this, those will all be ready to go. I thought I'd kind of show you as well what I'm doing in my spare time, what little spare time I have. Appreciate you guys, and uh, hope you all have a good night. Thanks for watching.